Right, this video is about how to remove and clean the EGR valve on a um, Corsa. It's a 1.7 diesel. It's the Z17 diesel engine. Um, 100 brake horsepower. It's in a Corsa CSRI. And uh, what we're looking at here is everything back together at the moment. And uh, the bit I'm looking at at the moment here, which I'm going to point out, is a throttle sort of body unit that is then connected to your EGR valve EGR valve is water cooled there's a water pipe here which then connects to that and there's a feed pipe off the thermostat housing which feeds that as well when you remove the EGR valve there's a little o-ring which is inside the EGR casting just be careful not to lose it there's three bolts hold it on well I say three there's three main bolts which hold the casting on to the engine block um, they're there I don't know if you can see it and there they come in from underneath absolute pain to get out there's a third one in there which will remove a bracket with that which you'll see later in the video you then have got three more bolts on a tri triangular shaped housing there you have to undo these four bolts as well remove all this all this and then moving on I took you'll see later I took all my ECU off I took all this off this one here is a bit of a pain there's a Jubilee clip right down there absolute nightmare to get at so I didn't undo that um, I did loosen that because that then brings this forward a little bit and there's two more bolts on there as well which are connected to this silver thing um, so they came out the engine there's um, wire and harnesses everywhere they're just a pain really but you'll sort of have to just sort of shove them to one white one side or whatever um, I did mention later in the video that this pipe here is connected to the um, exhaust manifold for some reason it isn't connected to the exhaust manifold it's the inlet manifold which is at the rear and the exhaust manifold is at the front with the turbo all attached to it which I haven't had a chance to get out yet but hopefully I shouldn't have to but um, yeah like I say this is with the engine all back together um, but my video shows the EGR valve which I cleaned it was horrendous there's two ports in the EGR valve which were really clogged up I had that I got in there with pieces of wire and a little six inch rule and sort of scraped everything out I could and also this in, intake pipe which then goes to the infant manifold there that was heavily um, clogged with um, carbon and sort of uh, residue really so anyhow that's the engine and that's it all back together and you have to, uh, you have to obviously un that plugs there you have to undo that as well and the one on the EGR valve and then you have to undo these two plugs as well and clip up bits and pieces but yeah I'll uh, let you watch the rest of my video. The video also has got some still photos in. Um, they're just of the components cleaned up, really. Anyhow, I'll let you watch the video. you've taken the EGR valve off this is what it looks like this is with the EGR valve removed the th there's 
three big bolts or three bolts that hold on two are very stubborn to get at there's this one here which i'm going to point out which comes in from underneath and that one there that comes in from underneath to get them two out firstly you'd have to move this bracket which is holding the wiring harness there's two little m6 bolts hold them on heads on these are m12 so you need a 12 millimeter socket to get them off i've also found that when you um, go to get it out if you haven't undone this pipe here which is the pipe that comes from the exhaust manifold at the back of the engine that you can't actually get it out you have to actually take the solenoid unit off the back of the EGR valve now obviously I've removed all like the ECU unit which sits here to get at this that was an absolute pain to remove as well but to be honest well worth it because I had to get this to get this out and clean it I mean you can see now it's all nice and clean inside there and this is the EGR unit with the solenoid on the back as you can see now very clean inside oh um, spent a lot of time cleaning that up use some carb cleaner eventually at the end just to get rid of any of the final residue but that's with the solenoid on the back there's three little cap head screws in there you might be able to see they are a nightmare to get at so they're best I'm going to try and put it together or back in with that part attached now so I haven't got to spend half an hour trying to get three bolts in so yeah this is the ECU plate which I had to take off this sort of like an insulating paper gasket which you you be very careful easy to damage I've just torn one on the corner hoping that's okay there's also just there whether you can see them or not there's like insulators on the threaded parts of the studs there that's where the ECU go on there's obviously something to do with the ECU not um, being earthed out but then there's an earth cable go straight on there so I don't know how that works but anyhow I'm going to end this video and start putting it back together Right, got the EGR valve back in place, or the housing back in place. The three bolts, one there, one there, one there which goes in a bracket. The bracket, I removed the whole bracket. And as you can see I've got an Allen key in there now, which I'm going to do that bit back, so that bit's all done. Once you've put everything back together, this is now the end of my video, but once you put everything back together, just make sure that you top the coolant bottle up because you will have lost probably mm, half a litre of coolant um, top it up with the uh, equivalent um, antifreeze that is required um, the starting issues this video um, was mainly done because of my uh, cold start issues with the engine idle erratic and um, stalling issues it seems now that after the EGR valve has been cleaned and um, uh, the car now seems to be starting up fine so whether that was where the problem lied I don't know but it seems to have occurred my issue um, the car is a lot less um, well basically you can put your two down now and um, instead of getting black, black cloud of smoke out the back it's very clean now hardly anything coming out of the back at all so I'm now going to end this video. Um, I will. There will be a little clip at the end just showing you it starting from cold. I've um, videoed it several mornings, and um, that's it now.